Did you know you can play games on your Apple Watch? Now, you're not gonna be playing Call of Duty on this, but I do have some fun games that will help you waste some time the next time you're on a train. So let's run through my favorite games. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm now gonna run through some of the games I've been playing on the train, and I'm gonna update this list every month, so make sure to come back to the channel if you wanna see more games for your Apple Watch. But let's jump into it. So the first app is called Games for Watch, and this contains quite a few games for your Apple Watch. We've got some free games here at the top, but there's even some paid games down here at the bottom, like Hangman, Four in a Row, Minesweeper, Sudoku, and Car Race. But let's go through all of the free games. The first one is Tic-Tac-Toe, or Noughts and Crosses. So you basically play against the Apple Watch. I lose. The next free game is called Match Them, and it's a very simple memory game. On this game, you have to match two squares together, so keep a lookout for the same person. The next game is Whack-A-Bug, and this is very similar to that Whack-A-Mole game you have in the arcades, just a very small mini version for your Apple Watch. It gets faster and faster as you play. Next up is Sliding Blocks. Now this essentially is a picture of a rose, and we have to move the blocks around to try and recreate the photo. I'm absolutely terrible at this game. Watch and repeat is exactly what it sounds like. You have to watch the motion of some cubes around your Apple Watch screen, and then you have to see if you can repeat those actions. Quite a good puzzler. Finally, it also has Pong as well. Now this actually uses your wrist to control this game. It's extremely hard because you have to move your wrist up and down to actually move the Pong board. I've only ever got up to six on this. Let me know what your high score is. Now, that version of Pong was actually quite basic. So if you like Pong, you'll like this little game. This is called Ping Pong, and it's a much better version of that game. So check this out. So you use your digital crown to move your goalkeeper up and down. And essentially, you have to score goals against the computer player. Let's see how we do. Next up is Touch Round. This is a little car game where you have to control the car using the digital crown and try and keep the car on the tracks and get around the, tr the track in the quickest time possible. Now, this actually looks like it would be quite easy, but because the steering is so sensitive, it's actually quite hard to do this in a quick time. Now, on this level, it doesn't matter if I hit the sides, but on some of the levels, you're not allowed to hit the sides at all, and it's almost impossible. And the final game is Fall Down Mini. Now, I have mentioned this on another video, but this is a game I've been playing a lot. You essentially have a ball and you have to get it through the gaps of a kind of raising platform using the digital crown. It's a seriously hard game. It takes a lot of skill. And let me know in the comments what is your highest score if you've played this game. So there we go, they are some of the games I've been playing on my Apple Watch. But let me know, did you know that you could play games and do you have any favorite Apple Watch games? Let me know, thanks for watching and I'll see you in our Apple Watch playlist up here.